your lord be kind of look like um overall decent look throughout so um you were you were doing quite a bit of work on the face last time and um the face looks pretty good everything else is kind of low 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 quality to compare to the face so i think we'll work on the jellyfish structures for the day okay wait how the main the big one uh, before yeah. that let's just check the audio i don't know about my uh, what do you say mic is there any disturbance or something is there anyone who can confirm do we have anyone watching this right now do we it says two people watching one of them is me oh the other one is me uh oh so uh, that sucks <laughs> okay then i'm muting myself mute yourself for the next two seconds we'll just listen in there yeah i mean you can check the audio i think it should be fine but here it uh, says that i'm picking up some noise but we should be good the mm, audio seems fine there okay cool then as long as there's no echo or anything you're fine yeah i don't think there's anything so it should be good cool cool okay so we'll work on the limbs then we'll start on the jellyfish structure okay i think that was the plan i'm not sure yeah that works that works it'll take like some time for me to actually get into doing this like yeah i get it you need to get into yeah, that mood yeah for like few seconds i'm just going to rotate the model yeah chill chill go for it reorient yourself yeah this is the right side is my camera okay <clears throat> I think those parts are looking really good like where you have that skin stretching out that kind of looks cool. Mhm. Oh, I had like a lot of things I was thinking about this thing right mainly for the uh, jellyfish structure and this like uh transparent things that we have here. Yep. so i have a couple of doubts like the thing is when you like if i make it single sided or double sided right yeah and when you make it transparent it'll just going to be a transparent thing do you want something in between those two layers mm, you mean you're going to make it double sided and you want to add something inside that double sided mesh yeah, what do you mean yeah 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 that's what i meant no like uh, okay so when it's a double sided mesh right Mm-hmm. um you you don't keep the same amount of thickness between or uh, both the sides everywhere you add a little bit of variation so in some places it's thicker some places it's thinner mm-hmm. so this is not going to be an opacity map it's going to be a transmission uh the thing transmissive render so in that case what that's going to do wherever there's slight amount of thickness wherever there's uh wherever it's slightly more thin it's mm-hmm. kind of going to differentiate differentiate in the body uh based on how thick or thin the geo is so uh don't add anything in there as of right now because i don't have any such plans but um if at all i do think of something then um we can do that later i guess okay but you'll be able to get this result from a uh, double sided geo right yeah 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 i was thinking we will add something in between and there'll be like bit of veins and like you know like inside structure which is like very liquidy thing that's actually one thing i'm afraid of the moment you make it double sided and you make it like um transmissive right um, you make it translucent not op- it's so basically there are three things one is subsurface mm-hmm. one is um transmissiveness and the other is opacity now in subsurface you know you kind of know what subsurface is it's yeah, like yeah. um the light passing through the skin so you can actually define the thickness of an object um based on if there's sub- a subsurface or not right mm-hmm. so i'm not going to be adding that um then you have opacity opacity is if the object is visible or if it's not right so yeah. it's pretty straightforward that you don't have in between right it's not going to define the thickness anywhere it's not going to define anything opacity maps are used in um very um specific uh places very specific requirements right transmission on the other hand it that's what gives you that jellyfish look that's what you would use to achieve that jellyfish look you want the light to pass through but you also want it 
to make it look transparent okay. now um the the issue that comes along with that is um when it's a double sided geo places where it comes towards the bottom like uh, now imagine a su- surface like glass hmm. like a glass bowl or something so towards the edge of the glass bowl it's kind of like a double sided geo so you can actually see the light refract through that and in inanimate objects like glass you can very easily tell what's happening but when it comes to organic substances that have transmission making it look believable is always a pain i recently did a character which had some similar um, a uh, similar type of uh, look and trying to get that to look right was like a real pain okay i was so actually I'm just hoping yeah, i was actually thinking in lines lines of opacity i didn't think of like sub surface and stuff like that i just thought like if you are making something opaque right and yeah. like it could get weird so i was only thinking about opacity i didn't know like this kind of stuff dude so opacity is something that you would use um for let me think of a good example to give for opacity okay yeah. opacity is something you would use so say you want to make a tree and you want to add a lot of leaves on the tree yeah. through a model right um but you don't want to complicate the model and add, of a leaf and add in too many separate um geometry or okay. like add in too much geometry in there so you just add in a card or like a single plane and you put the alpha image of a leaf and you remove the parts outside the card which you don't want only really revealing only like the silhouette of a leaf and that's where you would use opacity maps yeah. so where you want to completely make the object invisible or visible yeah, and you yeah. can use in between of that in a few places like imagine you made a um, cloth that's torn off towards the edge and you want to blend that out so you use somewhat grayish colored map gray grayish colors in your opacity map to kind of make it look blended that would work depending on your situation but um, opacity is a very straightforward use you can't uh, you can't use it to make things look um, organic and stuff in most cases like like this where you want the light to pass through it and you want to show the object yeah but you also don't want to show the object like glass and Jellyfish. yeah 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 because uh, yeah. till now i only worked on the examples that you gave on like plots <laughs> and leaves so i i didn't know about other maps i didn't know yeah, yeah. to do that so yeah and that oh, i'll get to this when when i do this i'll show you like i'll show you what i mean like, yeah. it makes a world of difference when yeah. you use transmissiveness and um, when you use opacity yeah and that's why we do this stream information mm-hmm. I literally didn't know that dude I would like uh, till now I only used opac maps right so just like yeah. I was just thinking around only that like how would opacity work here so yeah yeah it's not opacity that's how <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> then it makes much more sense so as for the muscles for this right now what are you sculpting in that's according to what we are seeing in the concept art or you are um, or you also have some of the images running through your brain I'd, which you uh, mostly uh, which you have seen as references yeah, the mostly i am seeing like the structure from the concept art and i'm actually looking at the other stuff as well and how like mm-hmm. those react on the actual animal yeah but like the structure and everything i'm looking like on uh, concept because they're much more like uh, what is that intense or prominent on the concept yeah 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 so i'm doing that and i'm just trying to blend it like to make it look more you know skinny or mm-hmm. according to the sal- pink salamander that we are we are we have seen the difference oh fuck it let's do the limbs before that here this guy uh, has five like fingers yeah but on this guy we only have like four on the front yeah. frame yeah so do you want to go with the four or like go with four um it's like this was i don't remember what the explanation to this was but somebody had asked me long back it's like um do you know why creatures in movies always have just four fingers and they given some explanation to that i don't remember what that 
is what that explanation was but <laughs> like was that something in lines of so it could be different than human because like if we see something similar to human right we like yeah. like uh, connect that to you know humanoid thing like yeah something in those lines yeah that's correct i am too smart to i don't know fuck <laughs> for my Um, yeah, yeah, sure, sure you are. <laughs> <laughs> you just you're just gonna sneak hook that stuff, is it? Yeah. And then like um, clean it up and remesh it and. Very much, but I'm thinking like it's actually it's really hard to when you're looking this guy from this side, right? Yeah. And you wanna make him like in this pose. not sure how the fingers are going to go oh but that's kind of weird like the hand is going in the same way like if you look at the yeah. image and if you so let's just try that are we going to add in those extremely long nails no i'm going to no, change right? that yeah yeah i'm going to change that okay here this guy is cool. actually like some cartoonic thing uh, like you have like a design in cartoons where the hands are like Hick, then they'll just connect to the palm, right? <laughs> Can you say this? I was thinking of Rick. I mean, Rick and Morty is Morty's hand. Yeah, that's oh. literally the hand that you just described. Uh, <laughs> so that's kind of weird. <laughs> But in concept, we have a lot more separation between the connection and the. Yeah, and even the fingers feel kind of like they're jacked <laughs> in the concept art. Yeah. Er <laughs> more like Komodo dragon than the salamander but yep. i kind of like the, the way the salamander hand is so i think we should go with that what do you think uh i'd suggest the same Or but the, um, wanna... if it starts to look too cartoony you think you can change it later on yeah yeah it just like add one more finger and that, that we can change okay okay Because as long as it looks fine, we're okay with it. Hey, also when uh, early, much earlier, I think in the first stream or something, you were speaking about adding some like webbed fingers. So is yeah. that something that you'd have to think of right now? Yeah, we'll think about it. Like you can see in the reference, right, in my mood board. Oh, yeah. but people are not not able to see the PRF. Let me fix that. Did somebody comment that? No, no. Oh, you just realized it. That's how good you've gotten at this, huh? Yeah. <laughs> oh shit! Wait, no. What is going on? Where's my PRF? Hmm. See, there's PRF. There we go. Yeah. So this is what I'm looking at right now. Okay. Uh, do do do. Cool, cool. You keep an eye out if. people are asking anything or yeah i have i have one i'm looking at comments on one side awesome okay your pure ref is online this is kind of weird what happened normally like i don't do this uh For personal work, I don't do like uh, reference plans and stuff like that, right? Mm-hmm. So, mm, I see. Looks okay. kind of strange to me. Dim dish. Are you not uh, sculpting with symmetry on? You are, right? I am. Okay. Now I feel like hands are too big, but in concept they look fine. So let's continue. Uh, yeah, uh, like once we remesh, right? Once we have everything mm-hmm. in place, and once we get proper topology, then we can go to lower subdue. Mm-hmm. And if we want to, we can change the proportions anytime. So. Okay. That sounds good. Uh, this is strange. Here I see f- 
five here i see four what is going on uh it could be that there are four fingers in front and the fifth one is in the back like you know like how dogs have the fifth toe in the back yeah yeah you you think it's that's what's happening there maybe because in the most image i only see four even in the side view see mm it's kind of strange is it like splitting or something only for that guy i have no idea man i have no idea which one is the abnormal abnormal like this guy yeah. <laughs> freak of nature <laughs> i'm just imagining that poor salamander somewhere going no you're a freak of nature <laughs> He might be treated differently in his world, dude. Who knows? He maga na ke bed le the maga engage. Dapan na maga ano? There is something, dude. But imagine this character in uh, Finding Nemo or something, mm-hmm. and people are. Other... Hey, Nemo was discriminated for having a small fin. Oh yeah. <laughs> Shit. He was discriminated, or it, was it just his dad that was like? Be careful! Your fin is not that good. Uh, I don't. I don't remember. That's a very old movie. Hmm. <laughs> If I had more followers, people would be angry right now. You don't remember Nemo? Oh. <laughs> Internet is weird, dude. Oh, by the way, if something feels weird, give me your input, dude, because it'll take some time to figure this out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. If I yeah. just, I mean, I know you're still working on it. That's why I'm not saying anything. So, like, I'd say something after you're probably like done with it for a stage or something, for one stage or something. Basically, maybe you can key or uh, push push the palms in a little bit more on the inside part. That was uh, kind of sticking out. This here, on the inside, on the inside. Okay, yeah. Yeah. What happened to symmetry but, here? Like, look, it's not symmetrical. But I was working in symmetry, and so it's kind of weird. Can you actually like uh, f- force whatever you've done on the left to the right hand side uh, later on, or right hand side to the left hand side, or whatever? Yeah, I did that just now. Okay, how you do that? It's called mirror and weld, so it just oh, okay. mirror the to the other Entire side. Entire thing and just it. weld it. Yeah. Okay. Mirror and weld. That's in your custom UI, or yeah, that's actually yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. It's some... in custom UI, but like you can find that under geometry, modify topology, mirror and weld. Ah, oh, okay. And you can change your axis here, x, y, z, or whatever. Okay. That's cool. But I am. I put everything that I normally use in custom UI. So like the options that I use the most they are in the right side of uh, the <laughs> down right. So it's actually yeah. easier to go there because I'm right-handed. Mhm. And the things that I don't use too much but I normally need them I'll keep them in left side. Okay. So for a, for a noob like me who would like to steal your UI is it possible for you to upload the You or what do you call this? A uh, layout in Art Station or something where I can just copy it or download it. Yeah, yeah, sure. Awesome. I've actually made this UI for trees and rocks. <laughs> then <laughs> I see the influence there. Yeah, at work. <laughs> then what I did is I like at home. Uh, I just changed with some. I added some more options which I normally use. Hmm. It's kind of. I feel like what ends up happening. It's like. You start using something somewhere a lot, yeah, and then it's like you just want the same everywhere, just for that consistency. Yeah. Right now, even if I get a like uh, easier UI, like better UI, I like, but I'm uh-huh. very used to this one, so it's uh-huh. kind of hard for me to change. Hmm. I get that. Because I built a muscle memory on everything, like where where the options are and like what other things that I could use from here. This happens, man. It's like. Certain things you just get so accustomed to it that you forget where the settings are, 
Oh and yeah, then you're like yeah. it should be right here and it's not and then you're screwed. That happens a lot actually. This happens to me with my Mari's palettes. It's like I have things stored in a certain way where it's just very easily accessible. Uh-huh. And then by chance if I lose it, I'm like shit, where did that setting go? Yeah. And it's like an easily a day's task to like just try to find out where it went. but like i would say like it saves lot of time when you do the custom ui yeah did to do did to do why did you add in that thing above the hand like that uh oh that thing i'll just smooth it out just to like you know have a different there uh, the difference between the structure okay i'll just blend it normally it's a stretch like normally uh, his hand would be like uh, this way right forward mm-hmm. so it's like a stretch when he's doing this there's a stretch there so okay Okay dude on the side I'm also trying to figure out why uh this displacement issue is happening so yeah, yeah. if I don't ask anything for a bit that's the reason cool. just keep that in mind but it's so messed up dude everything is right I don't know what's going wrong is this really annoying when certain times it's like can't you just fucking work uh is there anyone who can help you with that i mean i don't or know dude i don't know to be honest i think the only person who i who i could ask who would have some information would be nishchan oh i should check with him at some point in time like i had not thought of asking anybody until just now until he just told me i guess that makes sense i can ask people yeah uh, nishche made and cus- this thing right is he working like at home or something with the katana no dude his um what do you call this um his setup he has just let it be um like his when i say his setup i mean his uh, computer mm-hmm. it's this really shitty old laptop that he's using like when i say really old shitty i mean really old shitty so <laughs> um yeah i don't think he has actually done anything much yesterday we were facing the same problem clint had this very old laptop mm. where we did dual screen but he was not able to stream because even streaming would need some processing power right yeah yeah so it was lagging a lot and it would not go online for some reason yeah oh dude i was there when he bought his laptop i think and he was all proud of it he's like check out my laptop dude it's so <laughs> good and it's so fucked up because it's like i think what 5 years ago 6 oh, years ago maybe long back he seems like he bought it instead of ps3 oh dude no, that's not 5 6 years ago yeah dude it's almost 10 years ago shit never mind never mind but imagine that is still working yeah Normally I would just like change my PC within like that amount of time. Mhm. But none of my PCs were like that long lasting good. <laughs> none of your PCs are that long lasting. I'm just trying to think of like um uh, I bought one laptop in I think 2014, kept it all the way till I think 2018. Mhm. and then i got this laptop and then i bought my computer yeah. i miss my computer dude yeah uh can i think you can like what are the prices for graphics card they should be cheaper there i believe because yeah, you know, i'll have to check around no import and everything right export yeah. everything Dude, I have other problems, man. Even if I do get a graphic card or or a computer, right? Uh, I don't have place to use it right now. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Hmm. 
Oh my god. Is this this looks okay? I kind of like how it looks in the right side. Yeah, that kind of looks cool, but um uh, it's yeah. giving me like some uh, ghost vibes from Harry Potter for some reason. I thought you were going to say haunter for some reason. I don't know. <laughs> What? Oh yeah, I kind of do see a resemblance to haunter for some reason. Yeah. Yeah, this has because of this this is the webbing we're going to fix more right like again i can you see the reference yeah. so it's going to be very thin and like yeah 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 stuff happening there and I... this is one thing that um if you can kind of um keep in mind and do something about that would be super fucking useful for me um basically imagine um okay you have to kind of imagine from I'm sorry give me a second I'm thinking of it from a shading point of view and like how I can accommodate for this but okay in geo if it's possible right uh-huh. so imagine the amount of thickness you're going to give between the fingers uh-huh. right now that amount of thickness would is what I would want in the regions around the body wherever you add the jellyfish structure okay does that make sense yeah yeah that so that way it's like um i would uh what do you call this i would um get uh i would get uh, um get uniform transmission throughout so it's yeah. like the thickness here and the thickness somewhere else would be the same that's a and lot look similar that's a lot to do right to actually have proper thickness there but like close will do right like close to the other thickness not like exact mm. the same thickness yeah i think so because these are more actually trans uh, translucent than the other area yeah yeah so i i can also just control it through some sort of a map somewhere that should not be a difficult problem yeah i'll first um, we can create yeah by the way i kind of i wanted to add one smaller limb here like smaller finger mm-hmm. the side is that okay where uh here like this this part here yeah okay so first we didn't have that it was like this mm but i want it actually looks better with something that something there yeah it's insane how good it starts to look the moment you have a a slight bone structure defined yeah yeah I think I'm going to make some proportional changes when we have a remesh and we can have a proper topology for everything and I think I'll end up uh, doing a lot of uh, manual remesh because it's worth it worth it on this character and because we need a lot of control over some areas right yeah especially these areas so I'm going to have to do manual remesh so okay so you're going to like quad draw through my or something yep basically that Damn, okay and that could also be a something that we could show to people because these are the things like people are very lazy about or like they don't want to do mainly yeah. uv <laughs> and remesh right uh-huh but like uv is so, so easy dude it don't even take a lot of time okay if you know what you're doing I, right i'm with you on the uv thing because um yeah. ever since i started using um the tool <laughs> uh, yeah what is that thing called i forgot uh, you had uh, uh, sorry something in my adult uv stuff yeah it's it's just so easy life becomes convenient yeah. i'm like fuck why did i just not start this before Combine. especially for symmetry it's like it's just become so easy the symmetrized tool is like brilliant yeah combined with uh unwrap 3d right it's so so easy mm mm-hmm. Hmm. Okay, okay, okay. Da, da, da. I think oh, I if we have some the... time, I'm gonna show something about the goblin at the end of the stream. Basically, it's oh. not much. I just did something on the the props, right? Yeah. I had some placeholders where I made some ruins, like stone ruins, and they look really cool to me. Okay. So we can check that out. Okay. No, Haru. Can you hear Is my that... dog? Yeah, 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 yeah. 
he's waiting for his walk or something or did no, no, somebody no. come and annoy him what's happening there's some other puppy crying outside on road okay and okay he's like no 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 don't cry <laughs> <laughs> oh he's being a good friend to the other papa yeah uh, okay <laughs> he's very friendly but people don't want approaching for some reason <laughs> Oh, dude! I People remember the day scared. when I, I went to like um, just oh yeah like, yeah. <laughs> We were. I was talking about this thing with Dinesh on the last stream, I believe. Okay. Uh, something came up, and I like, do you remember what happened when like Bargava was trying to <laughs> hit me? Yeah. So, yeah. He's like, yeah, no, that's not gonna happen, boy. <laughs> Mom, bad. Mom, bad. Oh damn! Okay. But he's been shit scared from last few days, dude. People are bursting firecrackers. I mean, so fucking stupid, dude. Dogs hate crackers, bro. Yeah. They hate crackers. He was climbing. Like he was climbing my table and he was trying to get in in shelf, dude. He was trying to get into shelf. He yeah. Was scared, yeah. Dogs get really scared during um, the Bali mainly because of like crackers. It's a little messed up, dude. It's like my dogs don't go away from me at all, and like just for the heck of it, at times I'm like, you know what? I'll burst a cracker, and it's like, huh? Do I really want to? It's okay, I won't because like, Papa, this guy will suffer so much. Yeah, dude, it's messed up how afraid they get. So that's really bad. That's starting to look good. Yep. That's starting to look real good, even without the jellyfish part. Let's see. I'm not sure about the proportions. Like the head looks too big to me compared to body. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's is it just because of the? I think. Like, I think it's because everything else is missing. And it's mainly because of this structure, right? Yeah, yeah. So I, I wouldn't really call that the head. Yeah, yeah. That's just more like something that's there. Yeah. So actually, that will balance out once we have jellyfish here. See? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Because that's hidden away. Can you, uh, just while you're sculpting, can you uh, keep those layers switched on, but like with lower transparency or something, so uh, that down. Uh, like when... and locked so that you don't really mess with it. Something like this is all I can do. Ah, uh, no mind, uh, no mind. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, like that, yeah. If it's too annoying for you, you can ignore it. Yeah, I mean, once you I have ignore my uh, once once I have the this thing in place, I'll turn on and we look together. Okay. Uh, do, 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 are these too big? This is the main issue when you're sculpting something. If you're not matching with the the T pose or A pose reference, right? Mm hmm So like, is proportions? It, yeah. Does this look too big or does it look too small? I think this is okay, right? You'll have to tell me, dude. I'm kind of head is putting me like off because of the this thing, right? Head. Yeah. You can't actually yeah. make it out, so. It looks off without the jellyfish on the body. Yeah. Oh, so we are making some. We are doing some concept sculpting right now. We are designers. Da, da, da. But we asked Dinesh to work it offline, goblin, as much as he can, and then okay. we can show it on the stream. Stream, yeah. Mm -hmm. Did he? Uh, he said he'll work this uh, week. He's kind of busy with something. Okay. So he'll work next week, and uh, I haven't given him the. Your yeah, props with all the UVs and stuff. Oh, like uh, the costume and all that you've not given him still, right? Yeah. Hmm. Because just yesterday I was done with the, the modeling. I'll show you today, maybe if you have time. Oh. Yeah. Uh, we, I also wanna add eyes, but yeah, I think this is good enough. Anyway, we can change later on if we need to. So, that looks pretty good for now. You can leave it be. Yeah. Get my head back. You're uh, adding the eyes now. Yeah, uh, yeah. I'm gonna connect this part here, then add eyes and stuff, and we can move on to the jellyfish structure. Uh, okay. Insert game back. Say this looks good. Thank you, bro. 
Ramu Kaka, who's Ramu Kaka? Message. I don't know. <laughs> retracted. Oh man. Ramu Kaka, we get very few messages. Don't retract it. Even I was surprised by the name. Who's the uh, deliver? How how did I miss the message? He got out lucky. In most cases, it's like. I notice and then it's like yeah <laughs> <laughs> he got real lucky but I was curious that if it was a good way if it if fuck if it was a question or something ask who I mean uh, the guy who retracted his message right yeah, yeah, yeah now I'm curious what was that was that a question and where is ramu kaka i can't see in chat uh his was the first message insert came back he sent something and he deleted it so uh it just says message deleted yeah um so you can just refresh or something you may be able to see it but there's nothing there to see so we'll... <laughs> yeah there is just a name yep 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 Pixar displays. Why? Um, I fucking love doing this, dude. I don't know. Once I get into sculpting, right? Uh -huh. I can just keep going. Love it. Okay, from insert game park. But I don't think that OK was at you. I think that OK was at the audio that I sent. The four that I said. So anyways. Da, da, da. Beauty. When are you going to merge those two together? Right now. I think this, now? Yeah, this connection looks fine. So. And I merge them right now because I need to change some structure here, which would be better if I could merge them. Oh shit! But I don't want to dynamic it right now because of the okay. reasons. So, because of reasons, okay. Yeah, I can merge, but I'm not gonna actually merge the geo together. Okay. I mean, you know what you're doing. Yeah. I do, boy. Fuck. Ignore me, dude. Sometimes I don't know. It's just fucking shit. It's okay, bro. Chin. It's all it good. It looks very dragony to me, like dragon-ish. Okay, bro. Okay. No, no. It's I'm saying what what I'm doing right now, right? That, sure. Like, look at this shit, right? Ah, this looks damn cool, dude. Yeah, it does. It does. Where no one says anything, you compliment your own work. <laughs> <laughs> it looks good, Prachin. Validate yourself. But thanks for doing this, dude. Or else I don't think I would have done this much work. <laughs> this this is great. And I kind of like doing this now. The, yeah, the only problem is starting this, right? So once mm -hmm. you start, that's fine. But I could be very I get what you mean. I, get what you mean. I was thinking I would uh, do the remaining work on the weekday or something if I could, you know, start something. Maybe yeah. twice, twice a week on weekdays yeah. and on weekend. So my remaining owl bear and like elk and everything I can work on. Okay, that's fine. You mean you want to do the owl and elk on stream, is it? Yeah, on weekdays. Because like normally when I come back from work, I don't get much time, right? Mm -hmm. And I'll end up watching anime or like some YouTube shit. Oh, what anime are you watching now? Uh, Right now, I'm just watching the old animes like One Piece and stuff like that. Oh, you're re-watching it, is it? No, no, I'm actually up like current episodes of One Piece, new episodes. Oh, of okay. Piece. And I'm watching some random anime, whatever it's in the top row, dude, basically. 
in what on netflix yeah on netflix not not on netflix sorry like on some channels right i'll yeah, you have your popular animes for the seasons right mhm so basically those did you see watch anything good so far ah uh, i have to look at the list because my brain is kind of fried and i can't remember anything i think it's because okay, of okay do you feel like you remember watching anything good Mm-hmm. I'm actually looking at it right now. Haha. <laughs> so, oh, I am watching Blue Period. It is really good. Uh-huh. I love it. It's about, you know, uh Okay. Art uh it, it's about art college and like how painting and stuff like that. It's about art. Uh-huh. So, I am watching that and I kind of like it. I was reading okay. manga. I was also reading manga and so it's good. Then there's something called Far Away Paladin. anything that stood out to you a blue period what is that like a slice of life type of a thing or like drama school slice of life yeah ah okay okay oh dang the skull looks better than previous not not uh previous one not cause of the skill but the concept itself wasn't authentically pleasing oh my god Dude, I love the concept. Shut up. <laughs> I've been. Wow. How are you all? Good to see you both. Ah, it's good to see you too. I've been. Oh, like. Oh, I've been. From. Dude, I think I know the guy. Yeah, you don't know him, dude. An insert game park pro. I like the concept. How can you say it was not? aesthetically pleasing what the fuck man i love the concept that's how making him sculpt it looks so good and then again to each his own or to each their yeah. own yeah it's a top row work in zebra stud so he'll be once he's done with his look dev go for it top row work on what on zebra, zebra center like yeah, on yeah 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 zebra sh- and everywhere like will be in the hall of fame in cg society <laughs> <laughs> problem is with like today's world that even if it does go up there it'll stay there for like a week two at the most two days not even a week <laughs> but it's fine I think there'll be a lot of recognition if you go if you get that done right. Mhm. So will be a uh, artist to in a sense if you could do mm-hmm. that. It just gets you thinking like these famous artists on art station. Mm-hmm. It's like dude how like yeah. how much they upload how fast. The, I am surprised dude. I think they do their professional work on then they do their personal work and get it done right every week they approach something I don't know dude it's insane because it takes so much time to do something and like they always have something or the other yeah what to do Damn, I feel like changing a lot right now only on the body changing a lot yeah the bo- body thing okay Uh, do 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 do. Connection could be better. So. Oh man, you know what? Hmm. Huh? We've been streaming for forty-five minutes straight. Oh shit. Yeah. I feel like just ten minutes, dude. That's Not what I thought. Minutes, yeah. That is exactly even what I thought. Like um, randomly, I was just wondering why am I feeling so thirsty again and again, and. Kept drinking water, and I was like, "Oh shit, it's been an hour. No wonder I'm feeling." Oh funny. dang! And we got something decent done today, I think. <laughs> yeah. I was like, okay, in like fifteen twenty minutes, this guy will be done with the body, and he'll start with the jellyfish part of it. It's like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But forty-five minutes later. <laughs> that's how you know we are having fun here. <laughs> Do you wanna do jellyfish thing right now? 
um if you are up for it i i mean i'm not doing much so <laughs> i mean i can keep working on the body forever do it'll never end so i know i get that but at some point of time you should say that i'm done with it don't go in adding all the small details because mm-hmm. i don't know how much of that is going to be visible through transmission yeah. um that that oh, is the... i'm speaking about i'm speaking about the body mainly because um, you can add in and in your sculpt it looks sexy as fuck yeah. but if it doesn't translate in the render for me it makes no sense you can probably do a sculpt pass later on for oh that i'm going to i'm going to do for you because uh, like every time i do some work right yesterday i was talking about that thing every time i do something you'll be like bro like you know your pores are missing your skin detail is missing your high frequency is missing i'm going to give you some fucking high frequency on this guy mm-hmm. i mean say mm-hmm. high frequency so You Ooh. give me you everything had high frequency dude that you've given to me so far. Really? Yeah. Hey, I'm cutting off my audio and video feed for a bit. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. cool. Yeah, he's gonna texture it and look David. the only reason i'm doing this is because he wanted to do look dev for this guy uh, as you see in the reference right it, with the light emission and everything emission and transmission he gonna he wants to do that so he's gonna do that and don't come at me saying texture your own character i am i am working on something else for myself it's a really cool creature i can make it really like cool so it's something that i wanted to do i'm going to make it very like uh, with lot of details and i'm also working on a uh, other dragon and a uh, uh a godzilla so it's kind of practice for that to get all the scales and everything custom scales i'll make some scales and other stuff Mm. Hopefully that works. and this should be lot longer 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 it's okay long septal oh yeah i actually like uh, if i get free time uh, when i come back tomorrow from work i'll show you something cool in env Oh wait, here's the thing. Oh, wait, wait. You're here, right? I'll show you something. Uh, this is the goblin update, and I've done all the props and everything. Everything is done. For modeling part is done. So, this is what I did for the this thing, ruin kind of thing, which I actually very like it very much. So I'll build something like this or some like environment like. this tomorrow or like whenever i get free next week but i plan to do this it is fun dude it is like really fun doing this and it looks good on this guy so i'm just looking for a guy who can like show me workflow for texturing in env if i get that if i get if i could find someone like that i'll bring them on stream i mean i'm going to do like sculpting or i i'm going to build some env props and that guy could texture it and i've also done this things this is wip i'm going to add a little more let's very flat here i'm going to add something here and like make this come out maybe but basically this is the goblin can calling this guy done the modeling part so 
Uh, hopefully the guy who's texturing it will texture it soon. I'll ask around if someone wants to do env texturing. If, if they could just show me workflow, then it'll be great so I can do a lot more pieces for env or a lot more tutorials on my own for the env. Uh, but the thing about that is like uh, it won't even take too long if i make a rock or a th something in env it should hardly take one stream to show the texturing part uh, if you have all your cavity maps and other map site it, it becomes a lot easier to uh, texture env so i'll ask around and hope someone agrees to do that then i'll show you that What what's with the lag? What's with the lag? I don't like this area. Not bad. Do do do. I know he does character texting. He won't do env. I don't know if he can but no he do, he he doesn't do care uh, env he does character texturing i can ask around i let you know if i do that by the way how's my light setup and i am gonna run my 3d printing machine from today hopefully so let's see oh where did he go give me a second I'll add some ice for this guy. Oh, by the way, if you wanna break down your uh, this thing, Game Boy thing, right? Let me know. I'm down for that. If you wanna do a breakdown of all your things. At least I kinda like the texturing what you did there could be useful to take More yellowish. Mm 
yeah you do that let me know if when you whenever you're free that'll be great uh wait why is i cannot i can even sculptist pro affect your geo even when you are fully painting that's strange it's new now that like envy like if you're doing a rock or something right it's not too complicated texturing uh like texturing part of it is not too complicated because like you have your cavity maps you have your uh curvature maps you have your edge detection and everything and you basically you can get a lot more variation within those maps so yeah i just want to know the workflow like you know what are the maps that you actually use professionally when i when i say workflow i mean like something that you do in production so when someone's learning they're like it actually it you know it, it'll be useful for them basically you're getting like production information out here Yep, 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 yeah. Hey, bro, I'm back. Yeah, dude. Uh, okay, I switched yeah, on yeah, my yeah. video feed as well, but um, I don't know if you would have to do something to get that back. Yeah, we, we see you. So, Bhargava is going to be texturing it. Yeah, dude. Uh, I don't know how much of you have answered, or how much of this you have answered, Sunil, but... I said uh, yes. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I am planning on texturing it and shading it. If you're interested to check it out, stay on the stream i know you will uh, okay cool i'm gonna stick to env um i'm learning ue4 to texture stuff what's ue4 unreal engine 4 unreal. Ah, okay nice clint does env texturing env texturing for what what is he talking about oh we just he, uh, he wants to he wanted to do env things right okay so i said i'll do something env because you know i'm a fucking expert in env right now <laughs> and mm -mm -mm. i was saying that i'm looking for someone who can do env texturing just show us the workflow mm -hmm. if i find someone i'll try to bring them on stream if i can but what uh, do you mean env texturing what are you talking about basically like a rock, sex basic, or bas basically like a couple of rocks or some wall or something okay so dude rocks and stuff are all pretty simple man it's like as long as you have uh, secondary maps but, like cavity yeah no as stuff. long as you have a decent tileable you can get away with a lot it's like um substance painter and all you don't even think of like texturing a rock you just plug in uh this thing what do you call that um a smart 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 material mm -hmm. and 90 percent of your job is done based on what type of stylization you want you just set it up and you're kind of done yeah. it's like it's crazy how simplistic that stuff is it's, I'm thinking um, more like a production view on things, right? So, someone who's dude, actually doing professionally. Yeah, I get where you're going with that, but even still, I feel like the whole production point of view mm -hmm. is more of like trying to match the look of the movie yeah, or yeah, the yeah, show yeah. that yeah. you're working on than anything else. Because I don't know, dude. It's like it's certain certain things are simple. Yeah, I mean, well. it is simple for you because you know the texting part, right? But if you ask uh, me to do that, so that's... I see where you're going with that. I take back everything I just said. <laughs> yeah, because I don't want some ENV people to feel bad that, oh, rocks are so simple. They're not... Dude, know. I'm like, I'm not speaking from a sculpting point of view, but from texturing, I'm pretty sure they'd agree. It's probably like the slightly more organic ENV stuff that would be like more difficult to achieve like the flow on a tree's bark and stuff mm -hmm. or like um flowers and stuff that that's where like even starts to get like 
how do i oh, do that shit to make do, it do you want to do a flower let that be something because even sculpting that is kind of a little bit you know it's a challenge to do that what sculpting a flower yeah have you ever sculpted a flower i did you did i did for lion king oh okay okay cuz i remember texturing a flower for lion king so. oh <laughs> you did <laughs> yeah 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 Bang. it was i a, think that was it is kind of a challenge to actually match it with the rep- reference it has like lot of that petals it has like really good structure right it's really cool actually when you think about it that fold and everything right mhm super cool hmm mhm it's like i don't know dude i feel like a lot of the challenge in like from a production point of view is always like matching it more than anything else yeah yeah cuz making something look believable and good is still kind of achievable and then after that getting it looking right to the reference is like ah uh, yeah there's a why? yeah that's that's what we are looking for like we have a reference and you have to match her uh my brush are not working i have to reset everything sometime your brush will act weird like here now i have selected move tool right but it's acting as clay build up look at this shit it's not even changing what yeah sometimes sometimes some shit happens so what you want to do how is how do you fix that go to brush and reset everything uh, reset all brushes then click on that and now you select and it should be okay oh okay have a look at this it's my friend's work so i was looking to do something like this not rocks and stuff okay but what do i look at you yeah. didn't send a link dude did he send me something no i didn't get anything then mm, did i people say like crocs are easy and 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 i don't i don't know that i don't want to no dude it's rocks easy. rocks are not easy from a sculpting point of view yeah. because i remember that shit very well like <laughs> you you know what i'm speaking yeah, about yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, to make them time. like even when you like know how to do that to make them look realistic right it could be a challenge to it. but like you realize what i was speaking about right? yeah yeah i know i know i know can we yeah. <laughs> okay <laughs> i i am saying like now with experience right that i've been doing long enough uh-huh even now like right now mostly in production you do reference match right mm-hmm. so imagine like matching a rock one to one with a reference and it has that to look realistic so pain, that's my only work like that's the most work i do these days hmm i'm just thinking back to that point of time never mind we'll have this conversation <laughs> yeah. later the good old memories yeah <laughs> good stuff good stuff i mean people who are here would know i think no ashish would not know but um you know he was there right ashish, I, no i don't know what he was doing at the time he was not with us he was doing something else at the time oh was he i don't remember what yeah it was me you and um su S U S K uh and Kant. Uh, yeah that's what uh, and um who else Nishay was there, there few, I believe yeah Akshay was there and I think even Nishay Nishay um Nishay was there I think even no Akshay was not there Nishay and Binid I think Binid was there yeah 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 and even Kanan was there oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> uh i remember sitting there at like night 10 or something and some shit went down and like damn this good day dude but we had fun okay my camera died my camera died yeah so is my video feed the only one it's okay you can keep that i can i mean i can put uh, my camera again with my phone but i have to do the setup and everything mm. hey uh, so uh in some game park are you sending some sort of a link across dude Oh, wait, how long have we been doing this dude you have been doing this for 1 hour and 5 minutes now ah cool we can you, you can wrap it up whenever you want 
ஒரு <laughs> just to see if i can send a link ah it went through okay uh dude you uh, no, if you don't say it, it on... i don't say it though did you not do you not see a link no nope. oh that's weird i think you can't share links um, on live chats maybe wait i think i can though are you trying to send something i'm just gonna send random master send link like trending link just send a hi and then send it do you see it nope i don't even see your hi to be honest yeah does this need a reload they say my message and link oh i see your link i see the link you sent now uh, sunil but the link which i had sent okay has uh, gone away now welcome to live chat remember to guard your privacy learn more okay let me just what something i don't know what's going on yeah yeah network tips basically you youtube is being careful about links and stuff i don't know i think so could be i think only you are allowed to send it wow i have too much power here way too much power bro. way too much power So I'm going to turn off my camera. You're the only guy on the camera. Do I feel some, special. Do some performance. Nope. Face performance. Nope, nope, nope. I get like these oh, days, man. I get angry when people under, just underestimate uh, uh, this thing, ENV, like rocks and stuff. They're like, uh, this yeah. is like too basic. But I've been through hell to learn that and it's not easy. um it's like okay i'm not speaking from a sculpting point of view but like when it comes to texturing, texturing work at least right uh-huh. certain things where you can kind of get away with one tileable mm, like rocks and stuff mainly mainly rocks more than anything else uh-huh. uh, i you mean you can kind of finish it really quick unless there's something very specific that you want to achieve you can kind of get away with it quite easily i can actually so, guess dude um, like with the maps that we you talked about uh, when we are doing goblin right when we were yeah so i can actually guess like it should be fairly easy to do rocks yeah cuz um, you you can do a lot more complicated stuff but that's not one of them yeah. i i know the difficulty that comes with uh with like matching it to a certain type of a look or an appeal and yeah, yeah. you explaining it to others that like yeah this is the exact same thing that you see in that reference <laughs> yeah, that, yeah that's always bullshit but that, that's um, one thing i see it different and you see it different right <laughs> yeah exactly it's like ah dude why don't you just see it from my point of yeah. view yeah but um i mean it is what it is <sighs> By the way I've sent another link this is the link that you wanted to share this is the link which uh, insert game park wanted to share yeah oh okay and uh, when looking at the artwork that you've sent right it's actually very easy to do that dude Just... oh shit um I'm sorry I disturbed you Sunil you finish I have to tell something afterwards yeah go on dude I think I was done no 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 you finish and then I'm going to tell So I'm just saying it's like very very easy to do that. You just need like few tileables from uh, uh, what is that Mega Scan, and you are basically done with everything here. In my okay. point of view, it's damn easy. Only the texturing part you can think of, but like sculpting or modeling part, right? It's damn easy to do this scene. And you also has the like, uh, progress uh, GIF image, right? So you can actually see like the workflow, and mm, it's fairly easy to do. I would say. you go on bro okay i'm trying to remember the name of that person i'm trying to look for that person there's this guy on youtube okay 
this is done in ue4 okay yeah. dude uh, insert game park i have something really interesting um to share with you you might um i don't know depending on the what you are uh, trying to achieve you may or may not appreciate this a whole lot give me a bit i'm looking for it i'm going to find it and i'm going to share it with you um cool. okay sunil i'm just send me like i'll know, share it to you yeah dude not about sending the link it's like uh, i don't even remember what i want to ask yes he has used a tileable in rgb painting do that's fine um there's this guy on uh, youtube who uses blender a lot oh yeah and he has done some that uh, insane stuff bob ross painting no, no 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 that no, guy no 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 not bob ross painting um god damn it man i'm not able to remember that sucks mostly in uh-huh. stuff right like enter big scenes like some crazy scenes by himself and um he's he actually has a uh, series going on on youtube um which he's making himself i think he's made episode 1 do his sequences became so famous god damn it dude i'm not able to remember his name um he even did a ted talk oh is that the blender guy i think is fuck dude he is very good at blender he has lot of resources on blender by himself he like makes lot of resources yeah yeah okay like material. ian herbert ian herbert hey uh, insert game park look up ian herbert okay so um he works mainly with blender and absolutely nothing else the kind of um, work that you just talked about on art station um i mean which uh, sunil shared the art art station link off that's good but like that's like um the final product um of like a model and then textured and all of that this guy works from a scene to scene or a shot to shot requirement so imagine he wants to create a scene or a uh, or a shot where you want a certain type of environment he literally creates that stuff um by clicking photos of it and then recreating it in blender with projections and some very basic uh, clean up of the textures on top just just enough for what he wants to use and he gets some really 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 good looking output so there's this a uh, video called world building in blender uh, by ian herbert it's a ted talk but it's on uh it's not a ted talk it's on blender's channel i'll list the name across um on in uh, the chat you can check it out i'll send the link to sunil so he can probably share it as well um where you go sunil there you are and this about... may be something that y- you would be interested in because he he speaks about how he has created environments for people to use and in such simple ways that it's like it's not funny at that stage anymore like what he's able to achieve and if you look up ian herbert on youtube right um it's i might be butchering his name if i am i'm sorry it's i a n um h u b e r t oh fuck this guy who made this movie in just like yeah. single frame yeah yeah. yeah 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 that's a guy that's a guy that's a guy it's um so he has something called um episode 1 salad mug uh dynamo dream so basically that's a 20 minute video of um of that's a 20 minute short film what he has done the visual effects work that he has in that is insane it is like crazy what he has managed to achieve and if i'm correct most of the stuff by him he does have a small crew that helps him out but 90% of the visual work visual effects work is all just himself so um it it's totally worth checking out his work and checking out um um his talk on blender as to like um, how he has work around for so many things it's really interesting and gives you really good ideas to move forward with um, many things that you might want to create and take a look for one it's like he kind of inspired me to want to like 
um, not look at things from an asset point of view, more from a short point of view, where even if I want to showcase something, I don't really want to just do it inside a 3D software when I'm just um, going to create something. I want to create a, like, a small shot for it just because it is you achievable can, without too much extra effort. And you can just save a lot of time out. doing that if you're working with the shot, right? Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. you don't have to, like, you, you could just like project in one angle and it will work for you instead of like, you know, spending pretty too much. much time on that thing. Yeah. Pretty and, much, pretty much. And the movie that he did, right, he did with his girlfriend, it was just like yeah. one green room and she was just walking down a few steps and it looks damn cool, bro. It looks pretty amazing. much. That that break breakdown for that is just insane uh, yeah. for uh, episode one salad mug. It is insane the break the breakdown video is like i think i've seen that way more way many more times than i've actually seen the actual uh final output like of his show so uh it's just like i don't know that, that guy is hella impressive i'll share the link check it out if you guys are interested it's in the chat Jan Herbert. Really forgotten cool. his name. And the way he works is mostly projection mapping. Yeah. So yeah. That's damn cool. I feel like that's how you should do ENV. It's like as long as you know what you're um Yeah. I mean gonna it, be doing, you can kind of just set it up and do yeah. it. Yeah. You're talking about like uh movie point of view, but when it comes to game that could change again. Yeah, yeah, that's true. That's true. So, that's very true. Uh, this whatever I'm saying right now is from uh, strictly from a VFX, uh, movie, perspective. VFX point, movie perspective. Yeah, not from a point of view. That's very true. But projection mapping ma mapping is damn strong. But people don't people don't use it a lot. I don't know mm -hmm. why. It's super cool. Dude, they do use projection mapping, but like um, it's like you hear people using it they're trying to work on a short film or something like that not um as much of a working on their own props or something because uh, i mean in that case you're trying to showcase your modeling and texturing skills yeah, yeah so you want to create the en but like um if you're if you if you look at it from a slightly broader perspective like i'm again i'm speaking about visual effects um it's like uh, if you think of it from the point of view of like creating en for visual effects it's no longer necessary for you to like model each and everything. Yeah. A lot of that stuff is just, as long as it's not going to be interacted with, you don't really need it. It can just be projection mapped and you're kind of done. Mm -hmm. But from a gaming point of view, yeah, you're going to need all of that. But the amount you're using of... a brand new piece of geo for this, is it? Yeah. But the amount of work he does like in short, Time, right it's insane dude yeah yeah and that movie didn't look like he did it alone right but uh, that was really cool okay so um just share this link as well when you get the time this is the break of um, a two minute clip of one sequence that he worked on that actor uh basically that's his girlfriend who's acting in the entire video yeah. she's in the same floor all the time same room <laughs> same room green same screen everything yeah, yeah. and uh you it's it's one of the most insane breakdowns that i've ever seen that's all i can say it's like the amount you can achieve with like a low budget like that as long as you can have things planned out is just hella impressive dude it's mad impressive i'm thinking should we move into making shots now that we are actually doing some Stuff. <laughs> you know, I would have loved that idea if I were any closer to you. I would just love to just come there and do the shit. Yeah, I mean, I got a camera actually. I didn't think about this thing. Actually, have a mm. camera where you can shoot footage in 4K, mm -hmm. and you know, we can do a lot of cool shit with that. Hmm. That is true. That's I don't mind giving something a shot. Yeah. Because we are in VFX, so I think basically we should be able to think about shots and, you know, sequence and stuff like that. Instead of just yeah. like doing a character now. I'm that, with you on that. That I'm could with be you a on that. good update. I'm with you on that. 
and believe me that's what i've been thinking of from a very long time that's what i started uh, my like, youtube channel with <laughs> oh yeah 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 <laughs> Honestly I had no interest in all of this thing I just wanted to do you know characters and like what not but uh-huh. when I see other stuff other people's work right like uh-huh. this should be part of something big like there's no point of just making it it could look much more cooler and could be used in much more like better sense right if you're actually mm-hmm. thinking of doing that Hey show me the tail what does the tail look like now like oh all right Uh, again that, again this yeah, is yeah I, I, yeah I like yeah. yeah i'm going to change everything here i just wanted to have something there which is show yeah, yeah i get it going, yeah i get that i get that it looks good from a distance right now so yeah. that that was it's... the goal to make it look yeah. from this yeah so you know it's going in the right direction yeah oh hey by the way um oh man what happened did you drop your laptop to destroy... i was just, i was just about to drop my display second display ah oh, i just shared tricks to ha oh, i'm i'm getting off the what do you call that the feeling of like shit i just died <laughs> when your heart i think stops like for a expensive. second yeah. <laughs> yeah that would be an exp- an expensive fall i understand yeah. dropping shit i understand like <laughs> 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 oh too soon man too soon yeah <laughs> i mean the joke's still on you but like <laughs> <laughs> oh by the way like when you look at this thing as overall thing right and when i uh, actually use the old geo for the jellyfish thing i think it looks damn cool look at this yeah it does it does it's getting there it's for sure getting there yeah oh yeah what i was saying was um have you heard of uh, um lil mikwila uh i don't know that I, i don't think i have okay so um when you get the time right um do an instagram search for lil mikwila okay and uh, let me know what you think of her profile okay uh, you know that we are on stream right i think i hope it is <laughs> something good something say oh believe me you like uh, you and everybody else on stream will like be a little blown away it's like some things are just like after you uh, come to know the full story oh then check it out yeah 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 i shared another breakdown of the guy the guy that we were mm-hmm. talking about so have a look guys have a look Damn, people came. They were looking at the video. They didn't subscribe, and they just like went. They won't subscribe, dude. It's like that's how it works. It's you need to impress, 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 and like one day, you know what? You may have ten people looking at you rather than just two. That, that, that's so. the life goal, dude. That's the goal. Ten people. <laughs> ten people a lot. Like imagine tell ten people coming here and spending their two hours with us. It'll be great. But to be honest, I don't really give a shit, dude. I mean, like, no offense to anybody who's watching. Really appreciate that you're watching it, but like, I enjoy doing it because it's fun. It is fun. It's been two hours and it's been super fun. What the? Oh, I am not on camera right now. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah. And the next income today is it still out or is he watching right now? I don't know. Let's see if he replies or anything. Yesterday the dude was watching and we were talking about him. Who? Dinesh. Uh, basically, I told him like, do you want to join? And he was like, I'm outside. Again, uh, <laughs> he said I'm outside with the image. <laughs> like he clicked the picture and like I'm outside. Like we trust you, dude. Proof. Yeah, we trust you, dude. You know, we don't need proof. Oh dang! What is this? What happened? This looks cool. If I could fix the some of the structure which are very like nice. pointy, right? Uh huh. Yeah, I, you'll I, have I, to do that, but it's at a low frequency. I'm sure you'll yeah, get to. Yeah, yeah. So like, but the look of the 
fluffiness. It's getting there. It's kind of yeah. It it feels yeah. fluffy to me, sir. Fluffy is that's the word, right? Fluffy, fluffy. I feel weird saying that fluffy. <laughs> fluffy. <laughs> Fuck. Fluffy, fluffy. Da da da. Do you want to call it a day? Oh At yeah. Some point in time. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sure, dude. I I can I fucking love like I like the the stream today. I think uh, whatever I'm doing right now, I'm actually into it. I'm feeling this. Good progress. If yeah. if you want, you can just say and just uh, maybe continue it off stream because we've been doing this for two hours. That's pretty long. Yeah, yeah. Um, so you can do continue carry on um like I think offline for some time and maybe just update the rest of the people uh, on the next stream. Sorry, not two hours, one and a half hours. Yeah, sure. Or maybe we'll do it next week because offline. I mean, that's I, your. I wanna do the goblin UVs for you, dude. So. Oh okay. Oh, by the way, I I've shown other people what I did on the goblin. Mm -hmm. I'll quickly show you, and we can call it done. I, I'm just gonna duplicate the jellyfish. So. Hey, if you've showed it on uh, stream, then um, uh, it's fine. Don't show it to me again on stream. Probably. I don't. I don't think it's the same people, so it's fine. Okay, new it's people. Completely fine. You get to watch it again. Yeah, I think we can call it done here. So we did lot, right? Today I kind of like the I fucking love the limbs the way they came out. Yeah, they look good. Yeah, and... we worked quite a bit in the limbs, a little bit in the body, and then a whole lot of the jellyfish again. Oh, by the way, I added ice. So oh 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 damn, something. that looks good. And this looks fucking weird without anything here. So we yeah. might do some teeth next time. I think at least for placeholder, right? Teeth yeah. and this tongue. Yeah, like venom shit. So <laughs> let's try that next. Week. Oh, I'm gonna copy venom tongue and try to like you know inflate it, make it very thin, and try that <laughs> once just you know <laughs> to see how that looks. You know you can. Why not? I mean, yeah, like... I'm gonna try that, dude. <laughs> Be if you something. do it, do it. And do I it. and I fucking love this thing right now, right? The the way the structures are reading. Uh huh. I'm happy with everything. From a distance, it looks yeah, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's what we are aiming because this is the distance thing right now, like block out. So yeah, we are cool. So we'll continue from here. And for now, I think we have placeholder for everything. I'm gonna refine body next stream. That works, right? Or do we yeah. do we need to work more on the jelly because? I think I'm gonna need some personal time to work on jelly. It's going to okay. be a bit complicated. Okay. So we are gonna refine body next stream if that works. That and works. That make, works. Make that look really good and have a better connection with the face. So I'm gonna save this quickly, version four, and I'll show you an update from like I keep saving versions for each stream. Mm -hmm. So this is like maybe three. Oh uh, yeah, so this is the older one which we did from the first stream. Okay. Then we went there. Now we are here. Oh man. Oh, that's, the amount of stuff so we okay. have from second to third, right? Damn, I'm surprised, dude. I'm actually surprised. The latest one looks really good. Yeah. I mean that's obvious, but like, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it better look good. Yeah. Hey, yeah. just uh, something to keep in mind. Um. Mm -hmm. The jellyfish structures on the neck and stuff don't add in such uh, that flowery thing. Oh yeah, yeah, Make yeah. Make it yeah. like one. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So first one will be closed actually. Second one will be half open, and third will be like completely, you know. Open. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But just don't add in like that low frequency separation yeah, so yeah. much on the main yeah. structure. A little bit is still fine, but like not so yeah, much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not so many. Understand. Yeah, you'll probably do that anyways. Yeah. But like, just thought I'd put out that. Awesome. But here's the things that I did on this guy. Only this dude, the modeling. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> that looks wicked as hell. But that is so easy to get away with a displacement map or a bump map. I don't know why you did that. I mean, this is that displacement thing. map, right? Basically. I mean, I've created yeah, a displacement like, map. I know, but oh, you're uh, technically you're making the Z disk, so yeah, that yeah, makes yeah. Sense. What is it? What will the geo look like when I get it? What What will the geo be that will be getting rendered? Something like this, but I'm gonna okay, remesh it yeah. anyway. 
yeah so that will be the displacement map then yeah. obviously yeah so basically what i did is like the modeling is completely done for the guy i've added some like i'm i'm going to have to fix this thing to, to properly connect it was the placement was okay. like floating so, okay and here i'm going to add one more rope or something to hold these two metal pieces together okay but basically yeah the modeling part is done i just have to work on the uvs everything so is done so this is this is just information for people um that are watching this who are maybe not in the industry or something a lot of the work sunil has done in this particular uh, project of his this particular project has included a lot of texturing work as well like all that patterns on this and like the patterning work on the coins that he just showed are all more of texturing work than modeling or sculpting work but him being as generous as he is in this <laughs> particular model he has done all of it himself which is pretty cool uh, which is really cool to look at and that's kind of how it's supposed to be in many cases but it isn't um so you should be like prepared to do a lot of that by yourself but if you don't have to that's awesome then oh uh, and uh, one other thing this the skull on the knee cap is oh. just insane that oh. feels like that's uh, i actually it. reworked oh. it i don't know if you could notice it before it was not like this this is actually reworked i don't know what it looked like before but this looks really good and i feel like this is like an homage to yourself it's like my knee cap is broken <laughs> oh fuck <laughs> a skull not knee that makes lot more sense now <laughs> oh man i think subconsciously you were just um, like you know what <laughs> yeah I'm just add in something for myself <laughs> and it's on the right knee yeah i know that's why i said it <laughs> god damn it i didn't even think of that <laughs> <laughs> but but that I was, looks cool by I was way. actually not happy with the skull then I reworked it and I like ended up making a lot of this uh, hard uh, st- uh, structures right they uh-huh. just so I kind of smoothed it out and I just made some kind of breakups and I think now it's okay I still wanted to reduce a lot of these details but mm-hmm. I think it's okay you don't see that too much oh by the way and this is the color map which I'm planning like doing in the zebrush No, oh, that's a pretty good color map. There are few, yeah. There are few things that I discovered like using other maps, right? So mm-hmm. this is flat color for this guy. Okay. So for my texturing workflow, I'm just planning like if I could something like if I could get something basic here, then I can rework in some texturing softwares, right? Like use lot more tile able to break stuff. Yeah. That could also work. But you yeah, may bro. not even need to break stuff if things are looking good already. You why would you want to break it up even more? By the way, so Game Park says. By the way, I have been playing Black Back for Blood. blood. In, back for Blood. Increase. Uh, in case any one of you are Xbox games, please pass. They can join. Mm-hmm. They It will be fun. It will be fun. Yes. Because be as good as Left for Dead Two. Okay. Mm-hmm. A lot of those words didn't make sense to me. I don't play games. I mean, but, it does to me, but like, I don't want to get into gaming because I like last time I was gaming, right? Mm-hmm. I ended up. Uh, oh fuck! Can we call this stream done? I think we are okay. Yeah, do it. Yeah. By the way, this is the update for the goblin. You'll be getting the geo and the, with the UVs and everything now. Okay. And finally, we'll start working on the UVs for the props and. Yeah, this is our progress on the guy, and I'm pretty happy with this. And so we can call this turn today. Peace yep. out. I am making peace out sign, but I don't have a camera. But think you should <laughs> just imagine that peace. my hands are up there with the peace. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> so bye bye. All right, bye bye, bye bye to anybody who's watching as.